Dude, two cars are out on circuit. Safety car, of course. Welcome back everyone to some more F122 driver career mode. It is time for round two with Williams. Sadly, we couldn't finish the Grand Prix last time out. We failed to finish. Oh, it was a bit of a heartbreak moment as our debut didn't go as we expected. We currently sit with a broken gearbox. It just says 80% worn, so I think we can still use it to some degree, but I'm going to use it during practice to test it out. Uh, but we're going to move on to the second column of gearbox for this race, which is going to be the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix around Jeddah Corniche Circuit. And hopefully we can have a good one and hopefully redeem ourselves after a strong start last time out, but then being uh, let down by the engine or the gearbox rather I should say let's see what's in the works right now we got R&D automated of course if you guys didn't know watch the last episode we have automated R&D where the team decides the AI decides what R&D gets done so currently we got energy store improved energy store um, chassis department upgrade secondary wing flaps in the downforce as well as the Venturi tunnels which is good uh, otherwise, I don't see much being done. We've got 2100 in the bank, but we'll see as we get closer to race weekend how those funds will be used. I finally understand why Williams are a team that struggles so much. Look at this. Development fails. Secondary wing flaps. Not coming in. Improved energy store cells. Not coming in either. What is this? What is happening, guys? Seriously, Williams are struggling to get things in. Cylinder head engine power got triggered, so we should see that come through in a couple moment's time but otherwise i think that's all that's being done we're gonna re-trigger these i believe so we'll just see how well that goes uh for the next couple grand prix worst car on the grid right now progress history we're not improving as much as we'd like we don't see what happened on the grid so far but we'll see we got a pirelli hot lap event i think we get some acclaim for this one no money but acclaim Average speed zone. Yeah, let's go for the average speed zone. I haven't done that in a while. If you guys watch my My Team series, you know we've tried these a couple times, but uh, have struggled a bit. So let's jump into this one. Average speed zone. Let's see what happens here. Alright, so average speed zone, it's about uh, getting a good speed throughout the sector. Uh, this is the hairpin-like turn at the end of sector 1 and like the start of sector 2. Take on challenging the section of, uh, take on a challenging section of the circuit in which the average speed is measured. The best speed over 3 attempts is the final result, but be careful not to leave the circuit as this will invalidate the round. So, let's jump into it. 162 was the fastest, I believe. Oh, camera inside the car, excuse me. Oh, a little. It was decent, but not good enough, I think. I struggled on the exit. 157 is good enough for bronze, I think. Yeah, it's bronze. Let's go into another try here. Another effort. Come on. Come on, I got this. I got this. Oh. How is this? Still 158, 159.57.9. We're still in the bronze zone. We're still in the bronze zone. I don't know how to get into the 161s or 62s here. I think I need to be more confident with my acceleration out of the turn. Let's see. Let's get it. Ah, oh, hitting the wall doesn't help there. 162, 161. Ooh, that was close. Ah, oh, silver. We'll take silver though. We'll take silver. That was the best I've done so far on this, I think. 161.2. Oh my god, so close. 0.9 kilometers per hour is away. 
from gold, but I'll take that. I will definitely take that. That was an effort and a half. All right, and we're back with Williams now. Uh, just quickly before we go, I wanted to touch on something, which is driver perks. I think we want to do a claim. Yeah. I think a claim is going to be important at the start here because we need to build up our claim. We don't have much at this time and signing for another team will become difficult. So we need a claim as soon as we can. So let's go into the drive, uh, race weekend. Sorry. So we're going to Jeddah for the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Let's see if we can do better than last time in the Williams. All right, welcome everyone to the qualifying session of the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix around the Jeddah Corniche circuit. The main objective of our car is to get a competitive Q1 position. Uh, so if we do bow out in Q1, make sure you get up there in P17 or P16, somewhere around that region, or just to get into Q2. And today seems like a chance for us because in FP2, we scored a P7 position on the softs. Of course, other drivers were running on hards and mediums, but uh, still P7 is quite competitive because we are still ahead of Ocon, I believe. That's the only name I remember seeing below me, but there were a couple. Uh, that did laps on softs and I was still faster than them so we'll see if we can push our car to the limit today gearbox I tested it out the 80% worn component I just ran it for FP1 and then most of FP2 before deciding to offer a new gearbox just to see if my pace was a bit faster and I think I am a little bit faster but not by much with the new gearbox so the gearbox just doesn't have a too big of an impact on the engine it just helps with the transmission of the engine so meaning gear up and gear down will be a lot smoother i think i do lose out a couple tenths because of that uh worn gearbox but yeah it wasn't too significant like a new ice versus an old ice like those have very different effects so we'll jump into this just set a lap uh we just want to get out there and see if we can make it into q2 let's go All right, the final hairpin. Let's see what our first lap is like here. A little slow, I think, on the exit. I'm not sure, but let's push it. 130s, 130.2, still faster than my teammate, which is good. Not quite sure how many people have done their laps. I think only 11. So we'll see if we are still competitive after that lap. I don't think I've enough fuel for another lap, so I'm just gonna bring this car home alright let's see coming around the final bend here oh lost a lot of time off the line yeah not good yep still P18 still P18 130 is my fastest I can set so far going back into pits yep couldn't improve. I had some rear wing damage on my final lap because Lando Norris or someone smashed into my rear wing. I think Daniel Ricciardo or someone. Uh, McLaren did at least. Ah, back of the grid. How sad is that? Stroll, Latifi, Vettel, and Ricciardo. The free practice session gave me some hope, but we just couldn't finish in the top uh, 15 here. Sad, but we'll move on. We'll see what we can do on race day. We know we can, you know, alter the strategy, play with the strategy a bit and push for some higher positions. So let's go to race weekend or race day and see how well we do. We're here today on the shores of the Red Sea in the lower Hejaz Mountains to visit one of the newest circuits on the Formula One calendar. We're in Jeddah, home to what we all hope is going to be a thrilling Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. So let's take a look at the topographical map of the Jeddah Street Circuit. As you can see, a number of challenging corners for the drivers to master here. We'll see just how much the teams have benefited from their time spent in practice this weekend. And like many street circuits, this track has the potential to punish drivers that get it wrong. Let's hope we avoid any safety cars today. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. A fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday, and it's put him on pole. And a very happy Carlos Sainz will start second. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Perez, and Sir Lewis Hamilton, and Russell, Fernando Alonso, Bottas, 
Magnussen and Esteban Ocon, Gasly, Mick Schumacher, Yuki Tsunoda and Norris, Joe, Ricardo, Sebastian Vettel and Nicholas Latifi, Stroll and the rookie. With preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box, and it's fantastic to have you with us here. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the rundown into Turn 1, a bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It will keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix. All right, time to drive. P20, last position. Um, so these guys are telling me I do have the option of running a medium to soft strategy here. Uh, 17 laps. Okay, hold on. Let me put uh, the medium to hard strategy on as well just to compare the two. Uh, yeah, it's a bit faster to go on the medium and then the soft. So let us do that. Uh, lower the fuel a little bit. And we should be good to go. Let's get this formation lap in. I'm excited to see if we can improve here. It's a track that we kind of understand better than the others like Spain or Miami. Uh, so hopefully we can get a good result here. Okay, how was that pull away? a bit more grip than that on the start hmm. we need to warm the tires properly now make sure you get some heat into the brakes as well i don't know how long the tires will last but hopefully we can get it until the soft stint arrives it's very important that this strategy works otherwise we need to go onto the hards but for now it looks good okay here we go time to park it heating the tires a little bit Heat the tires up a little bit. Alright. 86 seems to be the best we can do. 87, 88. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Get a purple. Get a purple. There we go. Perfect. So let's get a good launch here, please. Five red lights and we are underway. Decent start. Around the outside. Great exit. P13. Oh boy. Oh, dirty air. Dirty air. Sorry. That was a lot of dirty air from Schumacher and Norris. This car is not good with the dirty air. Aye. Let's go. All right, let's focus now for the rest of the race. Up to P13, which is nice. Surprised I didn't get a track limits warning there. Maybe I just about stayed on the line. Good. We need to dump our ERS here while we still have the lead over a couple cars behind us. Alright, I just realized I have no force feedback. I, I forgot to mention that during qualifying and free practice. I have no force feedback again. Seems like a recurring issue on the F1 game right now. F122 players have all reported not having force feedback on some occasions. And that's the case with me right now. I think with forced feedback I could be more aggressive on the turns here. Like I don't know the limit for that hairpin turn. The banked turn there. You see, I don't know how to accelerate out of corners because I don't know the input of force feedback. So I don't know when to accelerate, when to press hard on the accelerator, which...
the force feedback can give me a lot of information about. Alright, we're gonna save some ERS, try to push on Schumacher, never mind, we're gonna dump a bit of ERS so that we stay in DRS range of the guys ahead. Oh, yellow flag. VSC's out. VSC. Lando Norris is out. Well, he's going to the pits. Something must have happened. Well, that's good. Why is my delta so high? What? Is the delta broken? VSC's ending. Wow, I'm right in the rear of Schumacher. That delta is so bloody broken. Unbelievable. And we got a move done on Schumacher. Yes. Move done on Schumacher. Oh, there's a yellow flag. What's going on behind us? Schumacher has a 5 second time. Oh, Yuki Sonoda's out. What just happened behind me? Lance Stroll's out. That seems like a safety car. Two cars are out. Dude, two cars are out on circuit. Safety car, of course. Hmm. Interesting. Safety car got deployed. I think something happened with Schumacher. I think he caused a crash. That 5 second time penalty is definitely something related to him. Safety car in this lap. Safety car in this lap. Let's make sure those tires are up to temperature. And remember, there's no overtaking until the timing line. Stay in okay, here we go. Safety car is going in. It's coming in. Our tires are still in the okay operating window. We just need a good restart, please. That was a quick one. Here we go. There we go. Okay, people are going. Mega dive. Had to bail because I don't think my brakes were working as well as I hoped. Tried to give Alonso the space, but he's slowing down. What a restart. For sure, I'm going to lose out to the cars behind me. I think at least Magnuson. Or are people- Oh, they're all going into the pits. Okay. So people are all moving on to the hards. Okay. Hamilton's in the pits. Wow, somehow made it to the front runners here. Yellow flag. Oh, there's a yellow flag ahead. Yellow flag ahead. It's a Ferrari giving out, I think. It's okay, signs. Oh my god, a wing. Seconds. Someone lost a wing. Carlos Sainz is out. Safety car. Oh. Okay. We are pitting right now. We are pitting right now for hards. Uh, teammate status. Okay, sure. Tire status. I didn't need. Okay, let's push. Box this lap. Okay, we can take you this lap. The delta is so high that I can really push here. I think even the cars behind me are pushing, so we really need to push. This is a fabulous opportunity, man. Oh, I think Paris is in. I think that was Paris's wing fragment that we saw. Here we go, we're in, we're in, we're in. Hard compound tires are going onto the car. Let's go. Two, one, zero. Optimal! Yes, 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 yes. 2.3, let's go. We got Perez there. Pit strategy complete. See these tires through to the end now. 
Oh god, we got cold hearts. Teammates in the pits as well. Nicholas is coming in for his stop now. Why is Paris on the softs? Is he doing another stop? Alright, here we go. Green flag running. Didn't need to see all that safety car stuff. Oh. Slid in between Russell. Oh my god. RTP4, I don't know how long I can survive up here, but where it's looking good. Come on. The Alpine might get me here, but... It's looking good so far. Oh my god, they're fighting so much in the back. It's lap 20 and I still maintain my P4's position right now. The scuffle between the Mercedes, Alpine and Haas is helping me out. No. You have a problem. Why? You can't give me two DNFs in a row, you little... Idiots. Experiencing an ERS software glitch. ERA, ERS software glitch is fine, absolutely fine, that's good. But dude, durability is struggling. I do need my ERS to protect myself against Russell and everyone, as they are catching me, ouch. Yo, I think Russell doesn't have a front wing. What's going on? Is that texture not loading or does he not have front wing? Okay, he must not have a front wing. But how is he so fast without a front wing? Front wing is immense downforce. Yeah, he has no front wing. What's going on? How is he catching me? That's weird. Absolutely weird. He's lost his front wing. Must have had a collision with Alcon or something. I don't know. Oh well. Fine. Okay, just two laps of fuel remaining now. I'm about to pull off a heroic drive for Williams. Safety car really helped us out, but I don't know. I'm gonna try and fight Alcon as much as I can. Defend it as well as I can. And we'll see. There appears to be an issue. Oh no 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 not right now, bro. Not right now. Don't do this to me right now. We got a P4, you already got me a ERS issue. Oh no, don't tell me. I'm doing so well, P4 right now in the Williams. Come on. Let me at least finish this Grand Prix. Okay, oh looks my like God. a mechanical failure. We're gonna have to ask you to find a safe spot to retire. Sorry about that, mate. Again, find somewhere safe to stop. We need you to retire. Okay, this is your final lap. Final lap of the race. We've only got two laps of fuel left. effort from the team and a magnificent drive to secure victory here at the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. Here come our winners now, a thrilling race and a tremendous effort by Ferrari. 
their history is well known, so it's no surprise to fans the world over to see them come out on top once again. Pain. Absolute pain. We've gone all 34 laps of this Grand Prix, 24 laps of this Grand Prix, and we get a DNF. Oh, this is painful, man. Painful. Charles Leclerc, Verstappen, Hamilton on the podium, Vettel, Bottas, Ricardo, Schumacher, Norris, Gasly, and Joe in the top 10. Latifi, Gotifi missing out on a single point by a couple seconds there. Perez, Alonso, Russell, Magnussen, and all round around at the finishers with myself, Sainz, Stroll, and Sinoda not finishing the race today. P4 was mine, man. P4 was mine. The safety car, the absolute, like, Perfect strategy came upon us, but ah, oh, we couldn't finish because the engine blew. It's the second Grand Prix in a row that we have an issue. Why? Why? I don't know. P19 right now in the driver standings. Ferrari and Red Bull going toe to toe with each other. One point gap between the two teams, but Ferrari comes out on top this weekend. Constructor standings P1 for now. Williams now down to P10. That's a bad weekend, I must say. Bad weekend. An absolute heroic drive let down by the team yet again. Our second DNF. Two races out of two. We have not finished the Grand Prix. I need to finish one of these, man. It's not because of my fault. It's all because of an engine problem. What is going on at Williams with the durability? It's unbelievable. Maybe I'm going to go the whole season with not finishing a race. I don't know. But, oh man, this hurt. This one hurt, really. This hurts. P4 was in the was in the books for us. The cars behind me, the uh, Russell, Alcon, Vettel, were fighting each other and really giving me an opportunity to build a gra and build a gap. And I would had P4 in the back, man. Maybe P5 if in the last lap the AI had ultimate ex like grip and speed. But I don't know. I it was there. It was there. P4 was there for me. Perfect strategy with the safety car, with the tires. Everything was like aligned for us the stars aligned for us to get p4 but the engine gave out at the end ah that is painful indeed well we move on to the next one which i believe is imola i think imola is round three right i don't know but whatever it is i'm hoping to at least finish that grand prix i don't care what position i get i don't care if i finish last i just want to finish that race so hopefully we can thank you guys so much for watching this video nonetheless hope you guys enjoyed Make sure to leave a like if you did. Subscribe using the red button down below. Hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as I upload next. More F1 content will be going up. So please be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss out. Thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Stay healthy. See you guys in the next Grand Prix.